It's all over the news. These tiny little things are more than just for tracking lost items or items you misplaced. Across the US, there have been numerous reports of people, mostly women, getting stuck and finding these air tags in their cars, in their bags, everywhere. I mean, it's so bad that Pennsylvania would be the first state to make air tag stalking a law. On a brighter note, there's also news about people losing their air tags only being called months later that they found it. And of course, it's always good news when you lose your bag or even all your belongings in a move, only being able to know exactly where it is despite what the moving company tells you. And having it on your fur babies and being able to locate them if they run away is super useful. What is up guys? It's Chris over here, Chris and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe and as always, like the video. In today's video, I'm not only going to review the air tags and let you know if these are safe to have and worth having in your everyday life, I'm also going to give you my tips on how to avoid these scary stalker situations and if you have any pets, the best air tag holders to keep them safe. So what are Apple air tags? These little bad boys are maybe a little larger than a quarter and super light. It's made of stainless steel and plastic with a replaceable battery that can last up to a year. It even has an integrated speaker that plays a nice chime if you ever misplace something, although it's not crazy loud. And it easily pairs with your iPhone so you can track your devices. Just like Tile, Apple AirTags are Bluetooth tracking trackers to track all things you misplace easily from keys to luggages to bags even your pets. It uses Bluetooth from your phone to locate the AirTag and give a precise location of its whereabouts. It's so precise, you can whip out your iPhone and follow the direction of the AirTag like a game of hot and cold, finally being interested to the AirTag. The phone even vibrates more and more as you get warmer and warmer. However, this only works if you are within Bluetooth range to the tracker and if the tracker isn't moving. As a test, I had my wife drop our AirTag dog collar in a location she only knows in a huge field. I then took out my iPhone to track the location, being able to easily find it walking around the field. What's awesome about AirTags is it uses all iPhones to track the location of the AirTag. Unlike Tile where only a few people have them and know about them, everyone or mostly everyone you know has an iPhone. This makes it the best device to prevent from losing anything. I mean honestly, I don't have any kids but if I did I would seriously put AirTags in their shoes just in case anything were to happen. Other awesome features the AirTags have are things called loss mode where it can notify you the second it connects to someone's Bluetooth signal giving its last known location. And if someone does find the AirTag, they can scan it on their iPhone and it will pop up your information so they can call you. This even works for Android as long as you press the AirTag near the back of your phone if it has an NFC reader, which most phones have these days. There's also something called notifications when left behind. This is useful if you somehow leave your keys somewhere and it's not with you. It can notify you that you left your keys at that location. They already have this feature with their other devices like the AirPods or even the Apple Wallet, but it's cool they have it on their AirTags as well. And it's super useful, especially if you have dogs, because then you can know if your dog runs away because it'll let you know that the AirTag or the dog isn't near your location anymore. Now, I love my AirTags. I have one on my keys and I love this Belkin case I got. It's super minimalistic and lightweight and doesn't take away from the AirTag look. I also put them on my dog, so it's like having a GPS tracker on them all the time without having to pay any extra fees. The AirTags are water resistant, but not waterproof, which is a big issue if you have water loving dogs like Golden Retrievers who love to swim. Now I had to figure out a way to keep the AirTags on the dogs without it getting destroyed. I looked on Amazon and a lot of them say it's waterproof, but it's definitely not true. Then I found these bad boys. It houses the air tracks in a waterproof housing, and although the sound it plays isn't as loud, it still reaches a Bluetooth signal without any issues. And it's securely mounted by screwing into the dog leash. By the way, I'm not sponsored by anything in this entire video. I bought everything myself, so these are products I've been using and I love. With our little palm, however, we got this super small case that fits his tiny collar and we've been happy since he never really likes water anyways. So what should you do if you get a notification on your phone that your location is being tracked? Which is why they put some safeguards into place. Now it doesn't happen right away, but after a few hours, you should get a notification that an air tag was detected near you, as well as the location it traveled and the time it was last seen. 
When this happens, you can play a sound that allows you to find the air tag. However, I wish they did change this and notify the person being tracked right away. The reason is that although the air tag has a setting where if the air tag is away from the original paired Apple device, after three days, it will automatically start beeping if it begins to move. However, if it is connected to the original iPhone or device during that time, it won't notify you as it resets the timer. So if someone was potentially stalking you, they'd already most likely be near, therefore being able to connect to the AirTag and resetting that timer. Man, saying all that is giving me some serious you vibes. I bet you they're gonna have AirTags in season four. Now, if you're on Android, don't lose hope. Although you won't get a notification, there's an app approved by Apple called Tracker Detect that can detect if there are any Bluetooth tracking signals nearby. And if you do find the AirTag with an iPhone or Android, simply put the back of your phone near the white part of the AirTag to bring up more info about the AirTag like the serial number and phone number. You can use this to associate the serial number to the iCloud account. And honestly, the best thing to do if you are being followed is to check all your pockets purses, jackets, bags, pretty much anything you think a quarter can fit in. And make sure you check the bottom of your car, like near the rear suspension where the tires are, because it's a perfect place to zip tie an air tag to. But at the end of the day, if you do feel like you're being followed, make sure you tell a loved one and go and call the police right away. And if you do hear or find the air tag, take it to the police as well. So aside from that scary part, the air tags are a game changer to prevent yourself from losing anything. Overall, it's totally worth it to have if you do have an Apple device. However, just be aware of the sound it makes if you ever hear it near you and make sure to take immediate action. Now play it again one more time so you can hear it up close. Anyways, thanks for watching my video guys and I'll see you guys next week.